duty. You're not supposed to be putting the price on each other's um, you know, favors that you exchange for each other. Exactly, how, how, how and I much, think that's what it becomes very often. It becomes. You know what I mean? But what I'm saying is that what is gained by the certificate? What is gained? I'm still waiting for this. I know we keep going it, off it, of it, and, you know, I know I don't want to hear about, you know, the skiing in Lake Placid. I don't want to hear about the, the nuns that are feeding birds in the park. Security that, it's a security that two people and a bond that two people have. <laughs> it's like having, it's like living with your best friend. That's the way I look at it. Okay, so why can't you live with your best friend without the certificate? With, of marriage? So what you're saying, marriage is really strictly for the woman. I can say that, yeah. So, and uh, I can possibly agree with that simply because whenever, if, the, if there's a divorce or anything, it seems like the woman gets most of the, like we have to, pay, it's always the man that has to pay the alimony and then when it comes to the custody and things of that nature. Unless it, it, you're a pimp, you can know how to flip it on them. Well, I, I'd have to disagree with that. What do you agree with? I disagree with, with women being the, um, the primary beneficiary to marriage. I don't believe that women, I, f I feel like women don't feel like they gain uh, what, what you guys seem to think that they do <laughs> out of marriage. <laughs> Explain to me Anna Kim Nicole Smith. <laughs> yeah, Anna, Explain Anna just got, what she got, like a hundred million or Anna something? Anna fuck with old wrinkled dick motherfucker, right? <laughs> he was 80 years old but had like 40 oil wells. You, you're quick to have sex with. But you mm. know after that, that's it. Because mm. you know it's not going to get any further than that. But, but, but let me ask you something. Mm. What, what's, all the, what's all the fronting about as far as, you know, if a woman really wants to have sex with a guy, she's mm. just not going to do it? What, what, what's that all about, though? Well, sometimes, again, you've got to use your own judgment. Sometimes just because you want something doesn't mean that you actually got to go for it, you know, because it's, it's about getting the respect. Sometimes, if a girl does give it up the first date, some men are real immature but and know, shallow but you know what it is? Those and will men, lose respect. What I'm saying is that those kind of men that can't understand or appreciate that reality mm -hmm. aren't the type of men you want to wind up with anyway. True, but that's the whole point of dating is what? A screening process. Now, how long you, you choose to screen is up to the two individuals, but they, it is more or less a screening process. It's All determining right. what is I, what this... What I think that we need for, for, you know, for the male viewers is, is that how do we edit that screening process? Right. How can a man walk up, give you the reel, get the reel, and know where he's going to be six months from now in six minutes? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's, 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 I know. it's inevitable. It's inevitable. You got to play no, the game. it's inevitable if you're letting it be inevitable. I feel that, you know, if you, if you feel that they're attractive, you let them knock it down, you're going to see the real dude right after the nut Absolutely. because the interest, the interest is that nut. Right. <laughs> You know yes. what I mean? You gotta understand, like, a lot of women don't really understand that, you know, um, an erection uh -huh. takes blood from the mind. You're not thinking straight. Oh, mm -hmm. no. You don't know what's going on. You just know that you've got to release this thing that's stuck in you. And once that release comes, so does the interest in the girl. So then you know from that moment on how much you really yeah. dig that girl. And it's not that we're not being true at that moment. Mm -hmm. So really, like, you know, a lot of times people, like I said, there's a pre sex man and it's the post-sex man. The pre-sex man is really being true to himself because at that moment that's how he's feeling. He's feeling like I'm gonna say whatever this girl I feel this girl wants me to say to let me release this so I can be real. And you know what I think I think I'm gonna have to add to that because I think women maybe if they don't know intentionally but they know in the back of their head that they are exciting that man some way somehow mm -hmm. and, I, and I'll you know I'll give 800 numbers for example you know you dial all these 877, 800, 8900 all these numbers and it's it's women talking to men getting them excited and it's all like I always say it's all everything's all right once the swelling goes down see when men talk to women you know there's like only really one thing on, on, on our minds a lot of times mm -hmm. so we're gonna let you talk we're gonna let you vent. We're gonna let you do everything that you want to do, just till we get to that specific point where we where we really want to be. Yeah. You know, then we'll come to. Yeah. And then and then we're back to the reality because we, yeah, we 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 have our own kind of fantasies going on. You know, and I, you know, it's um for years I've analyzed this, and the way I feel before releasing is never the way I feel after releasing. Yeah. Sometimes even after releasing, I feel stronger for the girl. Sometimes because I, I, I analyze the situation, I'm like, yo, shorty kept it real. Right. She kept it thorough, so I owe her the same. 
But if I had to fight and wait and play this game back and forth for four months, it was like, yo, I was owed that. You know what? That, that, that brings up another uh, point. My father once told me a story oh, about um, a guy named Walt. And uh, Walt was a driver, almost like a driving Miss Daisy. And he used to drive this, you know, kind of elderly lady around. And he said every day he used to ride, you know, Walt used to drive her and look in the back seat in the rear view of his mirror. And she wouldn't be wearing any underwear. So he just, every day he said, you know what? Why don't you let me, why don't you let me hit that? Why don't you hit, let me hit that lick it too? Right? That's a man, you know? In the back seat, that's, that's. So all of a sudden, she would say, oh, stop playing around, stop playing around. So one day, she lets them go ahead and, you know, they get about, busy in the back. About, you know? He said they start getting busy, tearing it up. Next thing you know, she, sc she screams out his name. Oh, Walt. Oh, Walt. And you know what Walt said? Shut up. Don't call my...